Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Life with Nessa and I, and I'm Nessa. Now, it's been a minute since you guys have seen me, and I want to apologize for that, but hopefully going forward, I can make videos more often. I've been saying that for a minute, but I haven't actually been doing it. But I'm going to try going forward to see if I can actually be more consistent with um, making videos so you guys can have some good content, all right? I want to thank everybody who is already subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like what it is that you're hearing here. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Remember to share. Um, if you think there's anybody who would like this type of content and comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say to me if it's even just hey of course i always try my best to respond to the comments again thank you so much for everybody who's already subscribed and let's get into it so this video today is going to be for my investment girlies right so uh for those of you who don't know or you've never seen this video or the video of me saying hey i was a part of the money society um with Anna Palomino, one of the things that we learned in the Money Society was investments. And our focus was the Jamaica Stock Exchange. And for those of you who don't know, Jamaica has one of the best performing stock exchanges in the world. And you can go and check it out, right? And so while I was a part of the Money Society, we had to basically, she taught us how to do um, buying and selling of stocks, how to analyze the stock market, how to choose the stocks that you want to be a part of your portfolio, and how to use um, stocks to make it up make it a part of your retirement plan and I said before that at the time I hadn't started investing because I had some debts that I needed to clear up one of those being my credit card debt which was a little bit hefty and another being my unsecured loan that I would have used at the time to purchase my car um, I've cleared my credit card debt completely and I'm on the way to being debt free hopefully by the end of 2023 I would have cleared my credit card debt and so I just thought it would be a good time now to go ahead and start my investment journey now in the money society when you're being taught about investments and she does this on Instagram and YouTube as well so if you haven't been a part of the money society don't fret there's nothing you need to worry about she does have videos on YouTube she does have videos on Instagram she will do Instagram lives answer your questions and if that's that's still probably not it um, she was selling an investment course. I believe it is still available for a purchase. That's the same course I would have done. Very informative. It walks you through the step-by-step -step of what you need to know before you start your investment journey and while you're on it. And just basically how to do everything on your own. I know when it comes on to stocks, a lot of us are like, Mm, especially with the scandals that have happened in recent times in the Jamaican economy where we've seen um, major personalities being ripped off, robbed by those who were interested with their money and investing it. But the reality of it is that once you have other people dealing with anything for you, money related, there is always a risk of you being robbed. Good? There is always that risk. Um, we tr Yes, financial institutions will try to vet as, better, as best as is possible their staff and ensure that they are trustworthy. Trustworthy? Why am I? Anyways, that they are trustworthy, but there's only so much you can do and no more. And over time, people will change, circumstances will change. And so there's always this risk of somebody taking your money or stealing or whatever. Now, with doing it on your own, you um erase that risk because you're the one who is in control of your stocks you're the one doing the buying you're the one doing the selling you're the one who's making the choices of what stocks to purchase when to purchase and so on and so forth right so you're basically in control um and it's a good thing for everybody to know and to learn especially if you're like a single mother or if you grew up a lot of us we grew up not knowing anything about the jamaica stock exchange not knowing about alternate sources of income outside of having a nine to five job or hustling on the street or whatever the case is but the reality is as time changes and as things change you need to become more versatile in your earning capacity what can i do to earn extra money the reality is as i said things are getting expensive the last time you went to the supermarket you may have spent twenty twenty two thousand. 30,000 however much you spend because that may be exorbitant for some people as well But you realize that you go back another week and the same amount of money you bring You can't necessarily bring home the same amount of stuff or the same quality, right? You may have to change brands if you want to maintain the amount of stuff that you, you, you are buying Or you may just have to put some things back because the money just can't get there And so it's important especially if you have children I personally I didn't grow up with generational wealth but that's something that I want to leave behind for my child and if I have more children PS you know I'm trying to get married in 2024 you know <laughs> nevertheless um, and have me some more babies but nevertheless if you didn't grow up like that right so this is a new phenomenon to you this is something that you're going to have to go into and there will be a lot of teething pains you know getting over the fear of an anxiety of am i making the right choice how do i know this is gonna work and of course investing in stocks is not a get rich quick scheme it takes 
time for you to build your portfolio to the place where it needs to be and so you have to be willing to commit to it and to do it um for the long term with that said i there are different um brokerage houses in jamaica that you can go ahead and open an investment account with you have places like barita um you have ncb capital markets you have others personally i chose jmmb right why jmmb for me i do have other accounts at jmmb you guys know that i work online i get paid through an online platform called pioneer and when i get paid on pioneer which is basically an institution that just allows it facilitates payment so i get paid in us dollars now when i get paid on pioneer i transfer directly to my jmmb account and so i have accounts at jmmb multiple i think i believe i have two um jmmb has proven over time to me to have a wonderful customer service i'm not gonna lie i've had i have accounts at other institutions when i have issues with those institutions and i think about having to call customer care to report it or to just try, try to get some information i'm already pissed off before i've made the call i'm already annoyed right because i know that the level of customer service isn't necessarily going to be where i need it to be and especially when you're dealing with money the innate anxiety of seeing something not adding up on your account or querying a charge or whatever the case might be you're already anxious you're already hyped up so to go and then you're talking to a representative that is just not doing the do it, it becomes tedious and frustrating and so for me personally dealing with jmmb they have been the best financial institution that i've dealt with so far i have not have had had any major hiccups when dealing with them so that was one of the things also they are one of the lower end institutions in terms of opening opening an account so i opened what is called the emma account and that is the equity money market um fund right the f just money market and the eight of the f so it's the emma account and the emma account requires twenty five thousand jamaican dollars to open good now twenty five thousand maybe a lot of money and i'm not going to say no however you do have other areas or other institutions that require much more fifty thousand up to a hundred thousand up to a million I believe um, some institutions are taking to open these accounts and so obviously 25,000 would have been the more affordable option for me and in opening the account I went into JMMB y'all know I live locally in Mandeville and so I went into JMMB it did not take I don't think I was in there for 30 minutes I went early in the morning after dropping uh, my daughter at school and then I went into the, to the, to the institution they asked me a couple of questions I had to fill out some forms but it really wasn't anything tedious now, if you, if I, when I went in, I said, hey, I want to open an Emma account. They were very understanding. You know, they didn't try to talk me out of it or anything. They just said, hey, you seem to know what you want. Ask me a, a few questions and we, I, I answered those. And within minutes, that the account was open. The money, I didn't have the money live in hand. So what I did, I transferred it from my local JMB account to the account that was done immediately because I do have online banking with JMB. So I did that immediately. The money was reflecting before I left out of the bank. Now the account in terms of being active for me to start trading has not happened yet because that would have been, as I said, Friday. And the, the um, representative that I spoke with said, hey, it's gonna take between Monday and Tuesday, two working days um, around there for the account to be active for you to actually start trading on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. And that's not something, that's something outside of um, the control of JMB, right? So that has to do with Jamaica Stock Exchange. And so I will be able to start trading. As today I'm making the video, it's Tuesday. And so I would have done that last week, Friday. And so I'll be able to start trading tomorrow, which would be Wednesday. Now for me, my goal in trading is not only to have, so I want to, as I said, make a legacy for my daughter i want generational wealth i'm trying to build generational wealth and also there are what we call dividend paying stocks and those dividend paying stocks are stocks that when you buy them and you hold these shares in these company whenever they make a profit they will pay out a portion of that profit to shareholders and that's something that interests me i think that's something again that's passive income because i really didn't do anything right i bought these shares they're sitting there the company's doing the work they're making the profit and just for being a shareholder just for investing my money giving them my money then i get a return on that and that's something that i want um because to be honest as a, a worker as a single parent I don't, I don't i don't i don't necessarily like to i want to be a passenger princess i want to be that person i want to be taken care of and all those things and if you don't like that that's fine but right but until then um the reality is you have to make your money work for you you have to be smart a lot of us we've been using our money to for consumption so it's consuming 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 you buy your groceries you pay your bills you do this you do that and that's the reality of it 
um, that those things have to be done but at the same time we need to start putting some of our money aside so it can do some work for us and investing in stocks is a really great way to get that done and so that's my plan now I would have had my choice of stocks um, from being in the money society and then I would have sat down I would have gone through what my choice were choices were in terms of stocks and um, She would have vetted them based on what it is She would have taught and she would have given me the okay yes or no at the time to purchase no um, a lot has changed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange in terms of stocks. There has been some new activity in the market. And so I do have to go back now to the drawing board, kind of go over everything I was taught and may have to tweak some of my stocks. But I don't think it will be anything major because the principles I would have um, learned and made my initial choices on are very solid. And so there shouldn't be a lot of change that I have to make. But that is something that I'm going to do because it's been a minute since I actually decided on those stocks. And also the next thing that I'm going to do, and this is for me personally, is I will be setting aside some of my income every month to invest in these stocks, right? So a set amount that I'm trying to work with for every month. So I know every month like clockwork, once my um, salary hits or income hits from my different jobs, then I will be going ahead and I know that this portion is going to go towards the stocks that I'm going to purchase. Because over time, the more, especially for dividend paying stocks, the more you own, is the more dividend that I will be receiving from these stocks and I wanted to get to the place where these can actually sustain if it's even a two bill in my life you can say okay so um, you sit down and you work it out mathematically I need to invest this amount and so to, to get this amount of return based on what the stock has been doing over the last couple of years or over the period of time it's been listed this is the general performance of it. So if I invest X size that amount, then I know that at the end of the year, I should be receiving this amount in dividend and that can go towards whatever. And that is just a part of the strategy that we were taught while in the money society um, in choosing stock, especially for dividend paying stock. What is the point of you buying the stock? What do you need it to do and how to ensure that the stocks that you're buying can actually achieve that goal, right? I'm trying to stay away from having longer form videos. I know some of my um, subscribers or some people who watch, they'll be like, your content is really good, but you talk a lot and you talk, <laughs> you talk for long. Um, I know we live in an age of, you know, we swiping and you get a quick fix within 10, 15 seconds. And so to sit and watch a video for a couple of minutes may be difficult. And so I'm just going to cut it off here. I want to say I will be kind of bringing you guys along on the investment journey. Um, I hope to make my first trade by the end of the week, maybe not tomorrow, but by the end of the week, just to kind of get my feet wet and get over the initial butterflies of, you know, trading on my own and all of those things. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, and if you have any questions that you want to ask me in terms of investing or in terms of opening the M account now, in opening the M account, I really didn't need much. I probably just, I gave them just my TRN and my ID. Well, that would be just be my driver's license because, um... And that would really be because I already have an account at JMB, so they would have my general information and I wouldn't need to bring anything in addition. But if you coming off of the street were just to go into JMB to open the MR account, of course you would need to bring the requisite information necessary to open a regular account. So probably proof of ID, proof of income, um, proof of address, stuff like that. Yeah, you would need to bring those information in for you to just come off the street and go open the email account. And I'm not sure what else you would need, but you can always call JMMB. Um, and they will be more than happy to assist. And of course, if you don't have any other accounts at JMMB, maybe you should look into it. They are one of the, as I said, the better banks. For me, I use my JMMB card a lot because they don't charge me. You know, when you swipe your Visa card and you see that um, like additional charge for use of the card, we don't have that over here at JMMB. As well as I can use any ATM, there is no charge to use a different ATM other than JMMB. That's maybe because they don't have a lot of ATMs. In Mandeville, they only have one and they're few and far between. So they have to facilitate you as a customer. And I really appreciate stuff like that. So for me, JMMB is the bank. Um, if you're interested in opening um, your account at any other institution, again, you can find information about that. Do your research. Be thorough in what it is that you're looking at. Don't just make a decision because right don't just say oh this person said that and whatever be informed make an informed decision what works for you see what the, the the organization offers is this in alignment with what it is that you are looking for and will it help you to achieve your goals stuff like that before you make a decision to go with any form of um institution when you're going to start your stock journey um yeah so looking forward to taking you guys on the journey with me hopefully 
again by friday i can make my first set of trays and i can tell you guys how it goes how easy it was how difficult it was and we can just walk through it so thank you so much for joining me i do hope that if you're not subscribed at the end of it you would want to go ahead and subscribe thank you so much guys for watching this is life with nessa and i and i'm nessa bye love you